My name is Donnie Cody, and I am the creative director at DC Design House. I named the company DC Design House because I love the idea of that sort of European design house um, sort of position line that I saw in a lot of the design shops and creative production shops that I see, um, that I would see when I was doing research and trying to find companies to look up to and to be like, and so I did. And then DC is just my initials. And not to sound like an you know ego fool, but I have, do have a vision for how DC can do a bunch of things related to and aside from marketing. And I figured that I'm always going to be involved in the business. And any of my business owner buddies think I'm crazy for saying that. You know, people say you got to start a business to sell the business, and I don't see it that way necessarily at this point. I want to really be the one who's there forever, making it all happen and making my vision come true. So. I thought it was a safe bet. Maybe in a few years I'll regret it. I don't know. That overs, you can put those jobs into a task or those notes into a job. That's gonna come to you now anyway. Okay. You're the best. Thanks. John. John Howard. You're wearing glasses? What the? My name is Kellyanne Evans and I am owner of City Performance Academy, Red Dress Entertainment, and co-artistic director of Theater St. John's. The biggest thing I think I get out of working with kids and doing this is seeing kids just test their boundaries and building their confidence. I think that's one of my mantras as a teacher, you know? It really, it's never mattered to me if, if a kid can riff or wail like Aretha Franklin or, you know, or, or act incredibly or kick their legs, you know, up around their heads. Um, it's all about building confidence. Because you have to remember that, how, like, your face is like this big, and think about how a person in like row like Z, like it's, right? The more kind of defined your features are without going overboard, the more we can, we can see your face, right? My name is Kim Patton, and my business is called Wink Enterprises, Inc. So Wink is a retail store that's located on Water Street, which is in the heart of downtown St. John's. And we are a boutique that carries art, jewelry, and things. Well, it kind of fell in my lap owning a retail boutique, uh, per se. I had originally done graphic design away at school, and uh, I knew that I was always gonna be my own boss. And uh, I moved home for family reasons. My grandfather was really sick. And uh, I was shopping for a Christmas gift for my mother with my father. And we stumbled across a store. Uh, and the owner was in a position where she wanted to sell in a few years. So I figured that was a great opportunity. And I touched base with her, and before we knew it, everything was signed, sealed, and delivered, and I had a retail store. I always describe downtown St. John's the heartbeat of the city. So there's a lot of um, different people that walk downtown. You get all walks of life, and especially during the tourist season, it's great. Hi, I'm JP Morsey from Eat Clean, Healthy Grill, and Juice Bar. I'm very passionate about what I'm doing because I 100% believe in what I'm doing, and I really want to you know, uh, with all my heart, I've never worked so hard for something in my life, and uh, I ain't stopping. And you know, I, I've totally, you know, I've given everything to this business, and I just hope uh, people will grasp it and grab on to what we're trying to do. You know, we are trying to bring healthy options here. We need to change this city, this province, this country. Obesity is huge right now, and it's not only obesity but cancer rates and. Uh, disease has skyrocketed in the last 20 years and it's very important. Food is one of the main things, like food is your life, food is energy. If you're not eating the right foods, uh, it's going to affect your life and your whole quality of life while you're here. Okay, I'm going now. I'm an artist, I'm a producer, I'm an idea guy, I'm a team worker, I'm an enthusiastic person, I'm pointed, I'm passionate, a little emotional at times. This 
This portion of Entrepreneur NL has been brought to you by Hickman Automotive Group. Come visit their 12 locations throughout the province. Bodyworks, Newfoundland's longest collision repair facility. Locally owned and operated. Come visit us on Facebook or drop by 38 O'Leary Avenue. And soon to be open in Gander. Bodyworks, the right decision after a collision. In terms of entrepreneurs, a lot of people say that you can't teach it, they're born, you can't make them. I don't quite agree with that. I think you, know, you can definitely teach someone to be an entrepreneur. You can't teach someone to want to be an entrepreneur, but I think you can teach them to be a better entrepreneur. And myself and my partners are very entrepreneurial. We have to be. We've made a decision to own an independent firm. Um, we have to go out and make our living every day, um, just like most of our clients. I met Kellyanne fairly early in the going of Spirit of Newfoundland. It was about two years in, and we were doing a nonsense show. I had heard about her, and everyone said, oh, she's great, and, she's got, and Peter had cast her in a part. And I don't think I'll ever forget the day that she walked in, though. We were in a little apartment, okay? And what Kellyanne Evans has more than anything is a whole whack of energy, right? And so she came into this apartment and was just, and you know, and, and, and singing and, uh, you know, and her movements. And, and she just, it was like everybody else. She was just casting a shadow over everyone else. It was amazing. And I thought, whoa, what an energy this one has. Well, the first time I was ever on stage uh, at the Arts and Culture Center, I was in grade nine. I think it was when I was in grade nine. And uh, Peter McDonald's productions, we did The King and I. And despite being in grade nine, I played one of the wives in the ensemble and got to wear this like amazing, crazy, like hoop dress that was like six feet wide. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever, being part of a show and I just knew from that moment on that this would probably be, you know, hopefully where I'd be spending uh, a lot of my time just doing doing musicals and, and music. Kimberly growing up um, was a very outgoing child, you know, she had a lot of friends, uh, she enjoyed socializing, she, um, in school, you know, she was in the choir. She was, uh, you know, in dance. Um, she just played a lot of roles. Um, and as in today, um, she probably still plays in them roles. She's very outgoing, she has a lot of friends. Horseback riding was, you know, a big thing for her. She's very excitable, very enthusiastic, and still carries all those traits today. Very much fun to be around. She could always make her mom and dad smile, for sure. Coming from um, a family of business for a long, long time, a lot of people thought and still think that I was given everything on um, a silver platter, I guess you could say, which is not really, not like that. It just, it, in, in the sense that everything was just really easy for me because when you look at young entrepreneurs now, there's a lot of these really great startup programs and uh, really great um, programs with banks and financing and stuff like that. So at 22, a lot of people just thought, okay, well, Kim just got like the, the ticket to go. Like it was just easy. She just, you know, it was, she had so much help that was there, but that wasn't the case. I mean, yes, I talk about my dad being so awesome, but let me tell you, he's, he, he was hard, he was hard on me, like in, in, in a good way. And he's always been like that for my whole life, right? Teaching me responsibility and um, all kinds of stuff like that. So um, when I started, I mean, I typed up, I did the business plan, I went to BDC, BDC helped, I went to the bank, like I did all that, I figured out the lawyer, like all those different things, um, and they were really challenging. Yeah, you got a bit of a leader, I see, just noticed from a distance, you know, it seemed to be always uh, doing whatever and uh, knew where he was going. 
if we're going to utilize... The idea, I think, originally came uh, several years ago. And uh, he was always uh, uh, always saying that everywhere he went to get a white tea, there was a lot of fat, and he's a very good health conscious. And uh, he, uh, as I say, uh, was very health conscious and wanted to stay in shape and down at the gym quite often. And uh, you wanted to supplement that with food, but he couldn't get the carbs he was looking for and various... Uh, vitamins and that that you want. So anyway, he said, uh, there's got to be a better way. And then he sat down and I think he started to go into that direction. Oh, this is a, when the Canadian Tire closed across the street, that was the main traffic uh, piece here, like where people came in. Uh, a lot of people came to shop, they went that way. It was like 2,500 people a day going there. So we were getting a lot of overflow from there. And uh, when they closed, it was like, uh, it's kind of, you know, we didn't, we weren't getting as much traffic and uh, numbers or everything in business so uh, basically it was just a economical decision I only had uh, so much time left on the lease anyway so I figured probably better uh, to cut my losses and uh, you know take our stuff find a new space and uh, downtown open up I knew that it was the place where I wanted to have my franchise headquarters it's kind of bittersweet you know this is where it all began and now it's a uh, it's kind of it's kind of sad in a way, but it's kind of good. You know, we're moving to a better location, but uh, you know, a lot of memories. You know, a lot of a lot of frustration, a lot of a uh, uh, lot of bit of everything. Uh, I'll tell you, it's been tough. Uh, you see, it's a new concept, it's something brand new, really, in Newfoundland, and uh, people don't take too quietly sometimes to something new. They gotta check it out very thoroughly, and uh, you got a lot to overcome. That's part of being an entrepreneur. Right? It's uh, you know, there's no, there's no guarantees. There's never 100% is going to work. So uh, you could have the greatest idea in the world, but if it's in the wrong market, wrong location, it ain't going to work. So basically, it. Working in advertising in Newfoundland is, it's exciting, and where it's such a small town and small city, we know everything that's going on, and there's so many interconnections between businesses that you don't even realize are there. So you always have to be careful of that because if you put down one company it, or if you push ahead one company, you never know who they're connected with as well. So right now I am getting ready for uh, to head over to the Masonic Temple where we are doing our end of the year rock show. It's called O Canada Giver. We have like 60 kids in eight rock bands. It's actually seven, but there's a family, Fitzpatrick have a family band, Fitzpatrick's, they're amazing. There's like six of them, and they're called the Dancing Pickles, so that's always fun. Um, not fun is when I lose my keys, because every time I put them down somewhere I can't find them. City Performance Academy has had a huge benefit on my life, especially Kellyanne, because she's always there and telling you not to give up, and to keep thriving for what you want to do, and that's a really important lesson in life, especially when it comes to musicality and the stuff that you want to like excel in in your life. And music is what I want to excel in in my life, and she's there to tell you that. And the City Performance Academy is there to help you live your dream. I think as teachers, we're we're mentors and we're we're confidence builders. And you know, the caliber and the crazy mad skills is is not not what's important to me at all as a teacher. It's really about um, building confidence and, and seeing the process through which kids find their own voice and helping them with that journey. This portion of Entrepreneur NL is brought to you by Massage Addict, 673 Topsail Road, promoting a professional and spa-like atmosphere for all their clients and staff. At Hickman Automotive Group, we have some impressive features on selected automobiles. Drop by our Ken Mount Row location and see how the Hickman Automotive Group outperforms every time. Or visit them online at hickmangroup.ca. Hi, I'm Jerry James. Welcome to the Carpet Factory. For all your flooring needs, hardwood, engineered, laminate, cork, ceramic, luxury vinyl, carpet, runner, rugs, vinyl flooring, come visit us, 1 Logie Bay Road, the Carpet Factory. Hi, I'm Nancy Healy, the CEO of the St. John's Board of Trade. The Board of Trade has been the voice of business in St. John's and Newfoundland for over 46 years. 
We are committed to helping business succeed through our money-saving programs, our advocacy efforts, and our networking events like the one we are at today. People do business with people they know, and our networking events provide you the opportunity to meet your next business partner or client. To learn more about the St. John's Board of Trade and how we can help you grow your business, check us out at stjohnsbot.ca. It's more, uh, yeah, it's definitely a place to do a lot better than Elizabeth Avenue for that reason. Tour season in the summer, and with the catering, with the corporate side of things, getting some catering. Uh, a lot of catering business down here, so if you can tap into that market, uh, can really put you over the top, make you profitable right away. And uh, with Elizabeth Avenue, we're kind of off the beaten path. People kind of forgot about us. So we were only doing really a lunch trade. So it wasn't enough business uh, overall to, you know, sustain. And uh, it's too bad because I really like the spot, the location and the parking. But, you know, if you uh, have a startup business or a restaurant, you need to be where the foot traffic is. and. It was a no-brainer uh, to come down here and get things going because this is where this is where my people are that want to eat healthy, basically. And uh, I know it's going to be a success down here. I can feel it. She works nonstop. Uh, you know, being an entrepreneur is not a nine-to-five job. Like, you know, I go to work at 8:30. I come home, and that's it. Uh, Kim goes to work at seven and she might finish up around 10. So she's, it's always work, she's always working. This time every year, a couple weeks before Remembrance Day, there's lots of controversy about retail stores decorating for Christmas before Remembrance Day. So there's a lot of, people are kind of, have mixed feelings about it. So myself and the girls a couple years ago decided to make the executive decision to actually um, decorate our window display uh, with a poppy theme, which was a great hit last year. Everyone stops and takes pictures uh, in front of our window display. So um, in our industry, you can't, I'm buying stuff for Christmas in July. So, uh, you know, it's one of those things where I can't stay away from it and tax free is our biggest day of the year. So. I felt that within our community I could do something a little bit different and still celebrate kicking off the Christmas season but still um, having the Remembrance Day theme still happening and we also have our Poppy collection box so hopefully we'll raise lots of money for them. Denise was president of the Business Association at the time, running around the city selling radio and doing other advisory stuff too because she saw things from the big picture. And next thing you know, I'm like, I think I'm gonna start my own business. And she says, let me do a couple of personal life things. And then I'm there, and that's exactly what happened. Three years later, she joined me. Three years later, here we are. Um, any questions about, so we can start with Melissa and go over it again. So while this is, Yo, all what's this going is already on, brother? specifically. Sit down. What's up? What's going on? Uh, I have to tell you something. What's going on? Is it going to piss off? What do we do? No, it's, uh, oh my God. This is hard. I remember a few weeks ago when we were driving and you said how cool it was that I do so much outside of work, gardening stuff, but uh... The wandering vegan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. Yeah. Um, so, a job came up, a job opportunity outside of DC for me and um, I think I might take it. I know. Wait. I was not expecting that. Yeah. It's, it's like the hardest decision I've ever had to make. Oh. So go away in three days! <laughs> I know, I know. And then I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay here for another few weeks to help with the transition. But, um... Well, that's amazing. I appreciate that. I, I'm yeah. just in shock. I don't even know what to say right Where now. Where are you going? It's, um, it's actually the seed company. Yeah. That we just rebranded? Yeah, we just rebranded them, and uh, I've been talking with Peter a lot, and uh, a job came up to be assistant manager. Can you tell Peter to call me? This portion of Entrepreneur NL has been brought to you by Coffee Matters. Quality, service, freshness. That's all that matters.
Freshy, healthy eating on the go. We serve freshly made wraps, burritos, salads, juice cleanse options, and so much more. We even have a kids menu. Come visit us at 673 Topsail Road next to Massage Addict. Order online or call us about catering. Freshy, eat, energize. I'm Erin Best, lawyer at Stuart McKelvey. If you own a business, then one of your most valuable assets is your brand. You invest a lot of time and money in building your brand, and if you don't want to see that time and money go to waste, then you need to protect it by registering your business name and logo as a trademark. See a trademark agent early, before you start building your brand, so you can choose a business name that can be registered and so you can avoid being sued for infringement. JP, he's a hard case. Now, he is, he seems like he's this tough guy. And I mean, part of it is, I mean, he has a background in hockey and all that, but he is genuinely one of the nicest, sweetest people I have ever met in my life. He's an incredibly hard worker, um, and when he fixes on something, there's no stopping him. But just a genuine, all-around good guy who actually makes me laugh every single day. My fiance Jane, she's probably been my biggest supporter. Uh, it's definitely the biggest help. Uh, coming home every night uh, after getting your ass handed to you, and when you had days when your know, sales were were low and you didn't, you know, you're worried about bills and stuff. Uh, if you got someone you can go home to and understands and keeps you going and pushes you on and uh, also you can have a laugh with and crack a joke make you know you gotta laugh through it all because if you don't you'll crack up so uh, it's sometimes it's emotional roller coaster like I said before but uh, yeah having that person at home my fiance is definitely my biggest supporter overall 100% it's very much a labor of love and from a business perspective with private music lessons, the margin is very small. You get a fee for a lesson, and three quarters of that fee goes to your teacher. So this is not a business that I'm in to make any money. And truth be told, it has been six months since I've given myself a paycheck from my business. I guess my philosophy is that, you know, money doesn't bring happiness. And, uh, and I'm willing to try to hang on and really try to build this because I really believe in it and I really believe in giving kids a, an opportunity. Surviving in downtown St. John's, um, I've never really had to survive per se. Like some people have that persona of downtown where you know you can't find any parking anywhere and you know it's really bad in the winter. But Wink has never really had to like survive. We've always been really successful. We've been growing for five years strong and still growing. Um, yeah, so you know it's it, it's not, it hasn't been a struggle and let's hope that it won't be for the next five years. It's been amazing. It's been a, an awesome two and a half years, I've learned so much from him. He's been a bit of a mentor to me. So, I mean, this, this decision was one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make. So it was hard for me, because I don't want things to change when it comes to who I trust to help me do what I need to do every day so I can do so much of what I need to do to be successful as a company. But it took me zero seconds to be like, dude, so happy for you. This is a great decision and a great move. And what can I say besides good luck and I'll see you all the time because he is a friend, you know. And uh, I do want that client to do really well and Jackson will make sure that client does really well. I have no doubt about it. Again, this town. Keep your nose clean, be a good person, don't be a jerk. Um, get out there, help out people and you're gonna end up knowing a lot of people and a lot of good people and nothing bad can really happen if you feel like there is someone waiting in the wings to help you move ahead or that you can help move ahead. I think that's like, it's a bit cheesy, but it's ultimately the truest thing I could ever say. I'm never worried because there's always people everywhere who are awesome.